All right, hello everyone. Um, this is Ori Sensei here, and I've finally found the perfect way that I can go and record what I'm about to show you, which is, of course, this MiG 25. I had a silent video, but this will be the full tutorial. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it's got a reinforced fuselage, really heavy cockpit. It's got the air intakes. Unfortunately, no afterburner, but it does have two tail fins, or two sets of tail fins. Um, also, re really heavily uh, enforced nose and wings. Also, as you can see, on the wings, there's a slight curve. And that's just more for profiling. But anyways, I'm starting with an 8-inch square of uh, kami, which is regular origami paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold a water bomb base. So we're going to fold the diagonals. Just like so. We're going to actually leave this down. And we're going to bring one corner. down to the center, like that, turn over, and you're going to repeat that process. <clears throat> now that that is done, you're going to look from the top, and where we have a flap, meeting a flap, on both sides, we're going to push right in the middle, just like that, and that's your water bomb base. Really simple, um, and if you can't do that, I can guarantee you won't be able to make any of this plane, since that was probably the easiest step. Now to get started, is you want to take you want to take this edge. And fold it down through all layers. Unfold and repeat in the other direction. Just like so. Turn over, and we're going to fold to the central line, like that, and repeat on this flap. Just like so. Unfold these, and we're going to look in here. And we're going to make inside reverse holds. These are the easiest pre-creasing steps before we actually fold the plane, um, which we're kind of folding as we go along. So turn over, and right where this line and this line meet, you want to push this edge up and fold to the right, like that. Next, what we want to do is carefully, do not try to force it because you might take uh, uh, tear the paper, is you want to fold as high as it can go, as far as it can go, and it's going to meet right at this corner perfectly. And if it doesn't, that means you, you folded inaccurately or wrong. Next, we're going to take this triangle, and we're going to fold from where that intersection is to that edge. And then you want to 
bisect it. Just like that. Unfold. And we want to fold where the intersection between this edge and that edge meet. In case you don't know what that is, you could also turn over and fold to this intersection. And then unfold. Next, you're going to outside reverse fold that. Unfold this, flip this to the left, and repeat the process. Alright, so we have it all symmetrical. Now we're going to spread this back out and rotate so that this is facing out. So we want to bring this edge to the central line. So you're going to make this a ridge, and you want to just align it with the center increase firmly there repeat on this side and then flatten these out and they should align along the bisector here as well as the line here just like that and then unfold and right where these two lines are you're going to make a valley fold in between those and since this is thick I recommend making it a tight fold and unfold it next it's going to be a modified pedal fold so I'm going to open this up like that, push along these lines, and then you want to, on this line, open out, and same with this other side, and then this crease will want to fold straight down, like so. And then fold along that edge. Just like so. Next, we're going to open this. And you want to fold to the center, but it's going to align with the edge in there. Or with the uh, crease like so repeat kind of messed up a fold there but that's okay all right just like that and then you want to unfold it all the way back to here now we're going to perform a preliminary fold, like so. Alright, to finish up this base for the plane, we're going to fold the bisectors, like so. So basically, this edge will align with the center. Like that. And then you want to perform a pedal fold on this as well. Just like that. Next... We're going to fold as far as we can. So it's going to start there 
and hit this corner. Like that. So do that on this other side. And then I'm going to show you how to do one set here, and then we'll do the other. So, we're going to fold down to that edge, like so. And there's a line that's right here. Um, we're going to fold straight on that, and then tuck it under the wing, like that, which locks the wing in place. Um, and as you see, when I fold down, it gives it that angle. Next, we want to inside reverse fold in and out on those creases that we had made on the tail fins. Kind of looks like a weird turtle, but I promise we'll get there. Next, this is going to be a two-step fold. So we're going to align this to the edge and try to fold in as far as you can. And then it's going to create a swivel that meets right at that corner. All in all, you'll end up with that. Next, we want to create a swivel that bisects this angle and meets at this corner. Like that. Fold this out and inside reverse fold that or rather tuck it around just like that we can fold down the wing now and then what we're going to do is fold so that this edge aligns with that white edge or not the white edge but the green edge slightly behind it Just like so. Um, want to open this out, and basically we want to fold this into that edge. So all in all, this is what you'll get. So repeat that on the other side. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to focus on this cockpit. So, we're going to fold from that corner so it hits this intersection. And then swivel this paper to this corner. Just like that. Repeat on this other side. This is where it gets really thick. Um... You want to fold these behind and tuck them into the nearest pocket. And then for the cockpit, we're going to fold straight where these align. We're going to fold this up so this edge is parallel to itself. And fold out both layers like that. We're going to swivel this over and pull out two layers again. Next, we're going to squash fold this like so, and then fold these edges behind. Next, we want to jet fold the model, so you're going to make a mount fold here, a valley here, and a mountain all the way down there. Alright, so this is what you'll get. And next we want to fold up the wings and both tail fins. On both sides. Just like so. And then to thin out the keel to make it flyable, we're going to fold this up as far as it can go. 
and then you're going to fold it up once more. Just like that. So there's a small keel where you can throw it. Next, we're going to open out the tail fins. Just like so. And then...